Good morning, boys and girls. It is week seven, day three. We are at Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. Um, on our work packet today, we have nothing check marked. That means nothing is due. So all the activities are optional today. The first activity is a cut and paste activity. So uh, this is gonna be tricky because both sides are cut and paste. So I would either just choose to do one side and not do the other. Um, or do one side, I, th I guess if you're going to do one side without cut and paste, you could do this one and just draw in the tally marks. Or you don't even have to draw tally marks. You could also do um, dots or whatever you choose to do. But this is just practicing the numbers 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. The other side is sorting shapes so this one you kind of have to do cut and paste if you're choosing to do this one um, this is flat shapes and solid shapes so you've got eight shapes down here and you're going to sort them whether they're flat which is two-dimensional or solid which is three-dimensional so you can cut and paste those and put them in the correct um, side of the paper so it's completely up to you what side you wanna do because they're both cut and paste and you can't do them both that way. Um, the next activity <clears throat> is um, again like a game, but we've done this one before where we just used it as a practice for um, reading and writing. This is practicing the N word family so if you wanted to do it as a game, you would need a pencil and a paper clip to do it as a spinner. And, but you don't have to do that. You can just, you can see the words down here, men, den, pen, pen, ten. So you can write the words four times in the correct column and practice reading the, the um, sentences at the top. That would be good practice to do today. On the back is a writing activity, which talks about things you like to collect. And they give you some um, suggestions at the bottom. I like to collect horses. I like to collect airplanes. I like to collect stamps. I like to collect stuffed animals. I like to collect cars. So all of these things would be like toys that you collect, but you can come up with some other things. If Miss B was writing this, guess what I would be writing? I like to collect campers. So um, whatever you choose to collect or whatever you're going to choose to write about, you're just completing the sentence, I like to collect and write what you like to collect and then draw a picture of it. If you wanna use one of the suggestions, you can, or you can um, actually write about something that you do collect. Maybe you collect um, superheroes, or maybe you collect um, uh, Barbie dolls. You know, there's lots of things that you um, can collect. So go ahead and do that writing activity. Good practice for writing and drawing a picture that matches your sentence okay and the last activity today is practicing the ob word family this is bob's new job so you read oh excuse me you read the story and then you answer the four questions about the story so it looks like bob is sad so read the story and find out what happened to Bob that he looks so sad and then answer the four questions about Bob's new job. Okay, and that's it for today. Um, I'm going to be uploading the Word Games video shortly. 
on our ABC countdown. We are at letter Q day. And on our calendar, it says um, Q-tip day. Um, use Q-tips to paint a picture. So um, if you would like to do that, if mommy's got some Q-tips where you and some paint and you can paint a pretty picture if you want to to do that and send me a picture of it I can put it in our happy campers section of our um, Google classroom and um, you know, can paint whatever you like to paint or there's you can create something else with q-tips it doesn't have to be painting with q-tips you can build something with q-tips if mommy lets you use a bunch of q-tips you can build something and send me a picture so i think that's it for today um i will upload our word games video